YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Obi back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share the video, all of that. So as you read by the title, as you see by the thumbnail, and as you see by my crazy background, we got another show going down for y'all boys. This one is out in Oaks, brought to you by Eagle Shows. And this is one of their big shows. So you know they have to open up all three arenas as you see people still getting set up. But what we're on a mission today is we want to see, because you know, SHOT Show just ended. So we really want to see what came out, because if something came out from SHOT Show, you're definitely going to find it here. So that's why you got to come early. But we're really going to try to look all over all three arenas to really see what came out from SHOT Show. So that's the mission today. And on the way, we're gonna show you everything else. So y'all boys sit back, relax, and stay tuned because this one's definitely going crazy. So in case y'all new to the channel, what I was talking about with all three arenas. So they got an arena right here. Obviously they got this one and they got one straight all the way in the back, just filled to the brim with guns like going crazy. So I'm gonna take you table by table to really see what came out in 2024. But what's going on, bro? Up, bro? Did y'all come out with anything new for from SHOT Show? You was at SHOT Show. Yeah, I saw you at SHOT Show. So, yeah. uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, this SHOT Show seemed like there was a lot of 2011s and yeah, yeah. 18 yeah, like Yeah, yeah, like every, everybody had a 2011, or 2311. Yeah. Um, now, did you guys come out with anything new from SHOT Show? Uh, we didn't come back with anything super new or crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing, nothing that I can think of, no. We got one of the new Metal Series Smiths with the comp and uh, green and all that. We got one of those. Let me see that. Yeah. I have 365 Legion as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, that one's going to be right. What? What's going on, brother? What's going on, man? I'm good. How you living? I appreciate it. I appreciate it, bro. Man, this is kind of cold. I didn't even, it does. It even see this. You shot this before? No, I didn't shot this before, but I'm looking at that. That's man. the second one I've got. That is crazy. A Legion? Yep. With the comp? Yeah, that might be a showstopper right there. I got... Then I have its bigger brother right there. The yeah, I've seen this one. AXG yeah. As well. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. It's crazy. Okay. Now, what's the other one you want to show me? Under a G. Come with the comp. See how these has the safety on both sides. Smith, I love the grip on Smith. Optics ready, man. They give you what you want. Odie Green too. Nine millimeter. Right. Man, Thanks. that's kind of nice, bro. That's kind of nice, and I like that OD green too. Have you shot one of these? Uh, I've shot a metal series one. I have not shot that one specifically. Though. Yeah, you get you get some crazy stuff in there, actually. Give yeah, the, most the, definitely. Uh, give me the box, actually. I'll show you what comes inside of it. There we go. So inside the box on that one, you're gonna get a karambit, cool. two 23 round mags. And these are 16s? No, these are 17. You get two 17 round mags, challenge coin, extra back straps, and a thread protector if you don't want the combo. Really? And that's all for under a G? Yeah, all for under a grand. That's kind of wild right there. Yep. That is kind of wild. I might grab this. And this is the only one you have? That's the only one I got right now, yep. Uh, I had two. I had one last week and I sold it. Dang, what y'all think? And that one's kind of crazy. I might grab this. Yeah, boy, stay tuned on that one. We got another Sestava here. This is the underfolder with a barrel extension, and it got a rail up top for an optic. So, I mean, that one was still classified as a rifle. I told you, best deals in the house. The SB5 $26.99. That's the cheapest one here. Brand new with the bag, with everything. $26.99. I mean, you, you really can't beat that. All right, y'all. So this is them. You got to call and say, Obi sent you. Come on now. That's the cheapest one you're going to find. Bad boy. Jeez. Okay. You got the magnifier and you got the dot on there. What are we asking for? Uh, 13. Hollow Sun and Hollow Sun. So I'll let y'all be the deciding factor. But yeah, they got a ton of stuff. Definitely hit them up. Mm -hmm. 
happens to be the first table that caught my eye. And as you see, we got three M4s just sitting right next to each other. So we're gonna start off with that OD Green Benelli M4. This one does have the fixed stock. I know a lot of people are gonna want the adjustable stock, but most people, you know, extend it to the full extent anyways. So some people just rock with that fixed stock, but that's what they ask it. And it's an OD Green. Got a rail up there for an optic, but you know, most people might just run the irons. So right next to it, we got the all black with the adjustable stock and basically just everything that one is just with the stock but look at the price difference i honestly i would rock with that one and i would just change the stock out like that's what i would do but those those are kind of expensive so all black od green and then we got the full tack actually i would just rock with this one this one is everything that you wanted done to it you got an oversized mag release you got an oversized charging handle. You got the adjustable stock. You got an updated handguard. You got everything. This is, you don't really don't have to do anything to it, and that's where it's coming at. So I mean, this is how everybody would want them. But I mean, it's up to you at the end of the day. And then right here we got a Nova, another Benelli. So four Benelli sitting right next to each other. That's what that one's coming at. So a little bit more affordable, but you get what you pay for. This just dropped too. So yeah, that was made in 70. Bad boy. Sick crawl. In case you want that bolt action. Uh, we got an M70 here. Not a bad price. And it comes with an optic. Got a Henry. So I already told y'all, they coming with some pressure. Definitely coming with some certified pressure. That one don't got a tag on it. It's always good to see a Drake under a G. Then we got the big boy. So this is playing in a whole different league right here. We got the scars. Black or OD green. I mean, not OD green, FDE. I know, I ain't gonna put my got the sugar weed. So what up, Frank? No, that's when you get the the original I know, because you got the funds in there. I didn't take ones from the You got a fix. I was thinking about getting a mini fix. I don't, I don't know, but these things, I just love the way Q built their rifles. We got a Ruger Precision and 22 long rifle. Daniel Defense. A couple of them. That's the ticket on that one. What's going on, bro? I see that new Daniel Defense y'all got. Is that a, that's a Prodigy? Oh, they got that Prodigy decked out. Got a stainless barrel, stainless hammer. They got, it looked like an Atlas trigger in there. Hollow Sun on there. They really got that one decked out. The echelon. See, that's the record. That's how it probably come. And that's what they did to it. And it got some extended magwell. Jeez. Look at that price. That's crazy. Then we got a Shadow 2. We got the new 2311 from Oracle Arms. That's another one. It goes to Alien. That comes with the whole entire package. And they got an Atlas. It's that Athena with the SRO on top. Got a Lady Night Hot. This is straight high quality. You don't even come look at this glass unless you're looking for high premium quality. That damn Wesson. Oh, wait. That shot off. Masterpiece Arms. You know what's crazy about Masterpiece Arms is they'll make the Mac, they'll make a bolt action, and they make 20, 2311s or 2011s, whatever you want to call it. Their variety is crazy. 
Jeez. Now, if you're looking for a showstopper, if you're looking for something that's going to completely change the game, that's it right there. In the revolver form. That's it right there. You got a Colt. And that's that new Daniel Defense H9. Figured after the Hudson. I can't believe I missed shooting at a shot show. HK. Wesson. Oh, that's not a bad price for the Alien. Now, it is a steep price, but it's not bad for the Alien, though. We got a Magnum Racer Desert Eagle. That's probably one of the hardest ones to find between that one and the Case Color Harden. PS90. Got a CMMG Banshee. I haven't been seeing a lot of CMMG. Well, at least out of PA. I mean, outside of PA. I haven't been seeing a lot of CMMG products. I wonder if that was even at Shot Show. SP5 in the building. Brand new. That's why I told y'all. The Eagle Show, they definitely gonna give you what they what you want. They have all different types of variety. We got the Scar Pistol with the brace on it. So in case you wanna go that route. And they got one in FDE. That's the man with the plans right there. We got a Scorpion. I think we just have one with a brace, yeah. So that's it with the brace. That's it without the brace. And I don't see the ticket on it. There we go. Is it no vendor by any chance? No. <laughs> then we got a LWRC SMG 45 one of the best shooting 45 PCCs out there this one does have the reciprocating barrel kind of like a 50 BNG but that thing you got that um, chamber flag in it but yeah that one shoots really soft shooting then we have another SP5K so that's the shorter one and that one does have the brace on it honestly I'll probably go with this one over the other one just because the look of it like this is all about looks right here honestly and then you shoot nine millimeters so but that's the ticket on that one fn15 sprinted 556 got iwi tavor you know what iwi is really they're starting to act like glock because they're not they're not doing anything they haven't done anything for the last what two years or something like that not anything crazy. I don't even know if they came out with anything last year. Oh, you you, you know what? They, I think they came out with the Carmel as it sits right there. But this year, they didn't have nothing new. But they still showed up at SHOT Show. Got a Colt. Got a Marsman. Charles Daly. I love Charles Daly. Got a tactical lever, lever action. This is a G-Force. What's that chambered in? 410. 410 right there. Then we got some Berettas. 1301. Chambered in 12 gauge. All black. I like the charger handles they put on those. Those oversized charger handles, you really can't miss that. I wish they would come factory on the Benelli's, but gotta give you something to do. Oh, that's the ticket on that one. That's the ticket on that one. And that's what that one is looking like. And then we got what I would get. FDE, 12 gauge Beretta. This one might be coming home with me. I think they got two of them. Yeah, they got two of them. So this one might be coming home with me. But that one look crazy. For a 12 gauge, that look crazy. I don't know if I showed that one already. Five mags and the original bag. And it's got the metal underfolder. That is wild. This one comes with a brace. Gee, that's a good pack right there. With the collapsible brace. I told y'all, this is what happens when you come to the show. Don't come here if you're not really to spin because you're definitely going to end up taking some type of loan out. A Mauser in a box with rounds. That's crazy. 
And then if that's not enough, I think those are all, I don't know if those are 50s. No, judging by the price, they're probably not. Well, that one's a 50 for three, 3,500. 58E with the red rose grips. I don't know about that, that. Honestly, the one with the walnut grips don't look too bad. <coughs> now this is a showstopper right here. I'm surprised, honestly, I'm surprised this is still sitting here with the original box. <coughs> That's crazy. And you know we got to come with a very M107A1. Man, they just came out with a drum mag for these, but I don't know. They wanted a thousand for those drum mags. I don't think it's that important. Only if that was fully. But the look itself, this was almost in my house. This was almost in my house last time I came out here. Yeah, that is, man, it still might come. Just the appearance of it, it just looks tough, but then you got that semi-auto, then it's just like, ugh. I don't know, I'm still on the fence with that one. You have to take an extra 40 bucks off. So, got some reflex. You have to take this down to 650. We got a Springfield Hellcat Pro. I think ready. They look like they slashing over here, slashing the price on these ones. I don't know. Would y'all grab the Pro over the regular Hellcat? I don't know. I'll can't go wrong with a 1911. I'm really like how they're making these triggers on these. Y'all can't see that. Grips feels crazy, just ridiculous as always. Got that echelon. Let me know what I should compare this to, because I got a, a, a review coming to this, but it seems like everybody just swamped the internet with reviews of these. So I'm gonna do a comparison. Let me know what I should compare that to. We got the FM545, this 45 ACP, 18. Oh no, this is not the tactical one. So I don't think this comes with the extended mag or the threaded barrel, but at least you get an optics cut and they give you some wax sights too. I don't know, but the price reflect that. So you get a better price and it's still 45. Still 45, you can still use the other mags with it, so that's that right there. Got a Walter PDP. Okay. Got another one. You got some Desert Eagles, that one is chambered in 44 mag. Got no one chambered in 58E. That's a big boy. I think that's their smallest. 50AE they got, or they make. That's a, another 50AE. I'd rather take that one. This one is like, I don't know. And this one's kind of light, honestly. Is that the Dan Wesson DWX? You got a little Legion right there. I don't know what I mean. Am I allowed to take a photo of this? Got another Legion. I think anybody with the macro, with the other macro, might as well grab this one. This, I feel like it's gonna be the best bang for your buck right here. That's that's a showstopper right there. I like that one. Cause I already like the Legion series, but to put the comp on there, like, come on now. You're gonna win with that. Yeah, we just got that one in. Yeah.
some more Draco. See, these ones are over a G. Barely, though. Over a grand. Well, that one. But everything is negotiable. So, I mean, it's up to you to see how your negotiation skills go. But that's on you, really. With the box. Jeez Louise, how much did I ask it for that? Eight ninety nine. That one is nine twenty nine. Oh, we got some Desert Eagles, and that one is engraved, and it's a fifty eight, and it's in the gold. That's everything you want, but that price is definitely gonna reflect. That's not actually a bad price for an engraved fifty eight E Desert Eagle. That's in, in the titanium nitrate. That's not a bad price. There goes the case color hardened. I kind of like that one. That's definitely a really unique one. Oh man. This is what happens when you come to these shows. Like I told y'all before, let me know if y'all want the contact to anything y'all see. We got another Q6 twin chambered in 308, and that one comes with the optic. It's not a bad deal right there. Yes, sir. You was there? Yeah. Did you go to Range Day or Scorpion Evil Three? This one is in FDE. The micro. And we got a Chris Vector, all white, a white extension mag. We got a black one and we got an FDE one and we got a little camo one. Multi-cam white is what they call it. Just the rifle version. What is this chambered in nine millimeter? Another nine millimeter. Come on, we gotta do something better than nine millimeters. Forty-five. Okay, we get somewhere. Forty-five. Mm. 45. Got a Riley Defense, AK-47. All right, y'all, check this Zestava M70 out with the gold accents from Zestava like this. So they give you the gold mag, gold uh, bolt, and the barrel, and the trigger. That's cold, I like the way they got this one set up. And you know, this is a, it's a Zestava, so you really can't go wrong with that one. We got some Zestava pistols. These ones are chambered in, what, 5.56? Five, 5.56. Six? Five, five, six. This one does come with the rail and the attachments and the hinge dust cover. The, the rail up top, rail in the back for a, I mean, you could put a brace or a stock to SBR it. But yeah, this one comes with everything. Um, so I just ran into one of my subscribers and he was asking me between the Sentry and the Zestava, which one are you grabbing? Definitely hands down the Zestava. You're going to get way better quality out of this bad boy and you'll get a lot more. And the fact that this one comes with a hinge dust cover and this one doesn't. Everybody who cleans AKs knows that's the worst part of taking apart and putting together an AK. So. Chamber to 9mm. IWI Galil 7.62 by 39. The rifle. Got another six spear. Seven six two by thirty-nine. And if I didn't say it, this one is chambered in 308. I don't know, I'll probably grab the 308 first. Five by six. FN Scar pistol in black and in FDE. So we got the Scar 308, Scar 20s, the big boys. We got a Scar 17S, 6.5 Creedmoor. 
And another one, 6'5 Creamore. Daniel defense. Another IWI glow. This one's chambered in five five six. A lot of people have been talking about stag arms. I don't know. Let me know if you own a stag arms. Let me know if it's worth, you know, even mentioning. Got a mini 14 Ruger. They got a lot of hard hitters here. Some of the best deals going in the factory that way. So it comes with really five fifteen. Mag, yeah, five fifteen round mags. That's crazy. These package deals for these FNs. We got another IWI Glil Ace Pistol. I don't know what this one's chambered in. 5.56. Five, five, I mean, I still wish I would've got the OD green. You said what? I said, you, when you made the video, it was just shit, fuck you. <laughs> this video is about shit like this. Go ahead, this explain one, it. This is what you gotta make a video about. Yeah, yeah. When you ever seen a, a real life MP7? I actually just put this in the video too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before I work my way down there. That's what people want to see. Yeah, yeah. Shit like that. MP5, I mean, he's not he's not lying though. MP7s and shit like that. Shit you don't see anything. No, that's a fact. Originals. That's some more shit. That's where that one's coming up. I'm sorry, but I gotta rock with this one. I, I don't like to stock, honestly. I would definitely put a V5 on there, but the 308 is definitely the way to go. These odds, I did have one coming, but you know how they are. I don't know. Let me know if these are even worth grabbing. They're just. I don't know. Two. Two grand. Everybody keep talking about the white one, too. Look at a break on that thing. That's about the size of my cell phone. How much you guys asking for this one? $9.99. Thousand. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Not bad, bro. Yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, some places are selling up for like twelve to thirteen hundred. Yeah, because they're hard to get, so. Yeah, they're really hard to get. I mean, yeah. We haven't seen them in like about, I would say like five or six months. Yeah, I only see one steel frame in the whole show. And that was the um, the chrome one, the stainless. Okay. So, and I actually do not remember. Um, it's somewhere over here, actually. Yeah, we have no for the PTR. Chambered in 308, I think. Syracuse is crazy. There you go, that is a again. I wonder what that is finishing. That's like a, you know, sturdy finish. 
Is this a, t is this a 22? Yes. Bubble phone. Oh, that's the one that came out last year, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's another. Okay. That's kind of crazy. Gatling gun. The Desert Eagles are just coming out of the woodworks today. There's another gold titanium nitrate. This is the Tiger Stripe one. That's a hard one to find, too. Everybody keep asking me where I got the crazy shit. Okay, here it is right here. That crazy shotgun that I reviewed or unboxed on my channel. They got it for 20 off, 20% off. Come on now, that's why you gotta come to these shows. That's why you gotta come to these shows. Cause you gotta look for this box. Gotta look for this box. I can't vouch for anything, but the man with the plane right there, and I think he's somewhere over here. He's kind of down there. Oh, see, this is the one Black Rambo got. That crazy bull pump. I told y'all, I gotta come to these shows, or y'all can email. That one is kind of tough. Okay, go ahead. This is not, imagine, uh, this is your two uh -huh. shells in it. This one is more of like a, I think the elevator on a normal semi-auto shotgun. Okay. Where it has a round ready. I have a round in it, pull the trigger, make sure it's empty, yep, it's empty. Pull the trigger, I shot. Now this has an ejector, so as soon as you open it, it ejected around. Uh -huh. The empty shell, it'll hit this. And once it hits that on the spring tension, it'll swing over and shoot around into the chamber and then you can just close it. That is crazy. That is crazy. Y'all see it here first. And so these are basically the same, but just one is a lever action, right? That's kind of crazy. That's kind of wild right there. Revolver. That was a lever action. That's cool though. And he was telling me this is an all stainless shotgun. This is top of the line, like build, build quality wise, right? That is wild. So y'all see it end up and then the break open. That is why. <laughs> 12, is this a chamber to 12 gauge? Yes. Okay. Y'all see that? It's like a backpack edition right there. Man, this is tough. Have you shot this? No, I have not yet. These are actually, uh, we just got these in. Okay. That's kind of wild right there. Perfect backpack. And you guys only have three of them? Five. Five. Oh, those are going to go. And what's the price of that? Price. And this one comes with the bayonet? Yes. Y'all seen it? Y'all seen it? All right. I appreciate it, brother. Oh, that case color hearted. It's crazy. That one's tough. And they also come with some M4 clones. Some M4 clones. Do they have any with the adjustable stock? Mac, okay, okay. Yeah, the, the price point, you can't beat it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I so I tested one of their um, AR shotguns and it ran flawlessly. Yeah. Yeah. See, these are the AK ones I was telling you guys about. Compared to the AR ones. So they got like a flat, you know, kind of a matte gold one. They got the stainless and the receivers are milled. So really tough. Set to last. And this is actually titanium nitrate. So that finish is definitely going to last you better than your standard finish. And that's all they got it on sale right there. This is the one Black Rambo has. This is the one I got. And that's the other one. I've had a few people really interested in, but. How you doing? You I gotta be special, brother. Okay, okay. And you guys are able to ship to other FFLs? Absolutely. Okay. Um, do you guys got a card or anything somewhere can, somebody can reach you at? Yeah. On my table. Oh. Okay. Serial number 509. That is crazy. That is crazy. So this is the contact. Anybody looking for it? That's them right there. Ronnie, was that guy lighting you down or lighting you down? Chrome board or Chrome chamber, 410 folder. That is wild. When did you guys pick this one up? Uh, like three days ago. And it already sold. It sold at this show? Oh yeah. I just sold it. Oh uh, man. This is one of the first AKs that I own. Polish Hell Pup. But mine was the Elite. That is crazy. I haven't seen one of those in a while. At least the pistol version. Got a Mossberg with the chainsaw grip. I have 
the black one. And this is the chrome one, and it's 600 for the whole thing, but you gotta register, you know, two different sides, but this is just the kit. So basically, just crank that, and it'll fire off both rounds, but that's crazy. Two, it'll fix. It yeah, yeah. So basically these are what I use to pull the triggers. So that's the kit for two 1022s. Look at that brown and high power. That is crazy next to a Colt 1981 Python. These are why you come to shows. One of the main reasons right here. Obviously right, so we got a Tech 9 there. What's going on, man? Jeez, Fully transferable. That's crazy. And then we got their new 2311s. These feel good. Honestly, I like the grip. A lot of people's going heavy from this, but I like the grip better than the grip on the Staccato. I'm gonna be honest with you. They come with the kind of similar grip modules, but I like this one better for some reason. It feels better in my hand and it's coming in at a way better price point. But it's all about how it shoots, so we gotta really test that one out. So my guys just left and they just told me to grab a 1301. So that might be a sign right there. We can move around on that number too. Everything's negotiable, okay. I'll, and this is actually the one I was thinking about too. Is this the only one you have? We, yeah, well we had another one and it was the first gun we sold. Okay. About 20 minutes ago. I could do you a package deal with the sling and stuff like that too. Okay. Okay. Let me keep looking around. All if right. it's still bad, if it's still here, we'll we'll come back and talk price. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll price match if you find some, some one somewhere else. Okay. And I'm not going to charge you for the background check either, like everybody else is going to do. Okay. All right. Okay. I appreciate it, man. So yeah, I hear it. Y'all hear it. That's why you come to these shows. Okay. We got another sugar weasel, okay, and they got the yeah, no, B5 nice stock. Days. These are the best stocks. I don't care. Like these are the best stocks, hands down. I put them on all my rifles. And we found one, a mini fix in 300 blackout. That's not bad. And it comes with the brace. Yo, on, What's up, probably brother? SBR that though. Please train. Got a Carmel. And we got a honey badger to completely complete the Q family. Another one, they're precision rifles. Oh, and somebody was looking for the Canic Rival S. Well, still frame one. So let me know if you need a contact info for that. And here it is, Apocalypse. So you're not allowing the slide to come all the way to the That's back. Cold. That's one of the problems with some of the smaller guns. Is that like, especially like for me, if my pinky goes under. Yo, we got an F1 firearms build here, but a carbon fiber barrel. Man, this thing is crazy light. And the Cerakote on it is ridiculous. And this comes with the optic and the case, everything. Okay, so that's the. That's the contact right there. And he also has one that's chambered in the new 8.6 Blackout. These are crazy. Okay, there it is. All right, I appreciate it, but we got another Draco. And that one is under the $1,000 mark. Oh, that one's way under. Okay. I mean, we always see good deals at this table right here. All right, guys, we got another American classic here. This one is chambered in 45 ACP. 
And as you see, it does come with that hard chrome finish, which is super tough. I've never had an issue with mine. I got mine shaved in 10 millimeter. I think they make a 38 Super, nine millimeter, and obviously the 45. Sit next to a Desert Eagle. That's the 50. Yep, that's the 58E with that distressed white. Another rubber action. That's what's coming at. Oh, we got some Charles Daly triple threats. Triple barrel shotguns. Man, I wish mine would have came with the wooden stock. And the bag. Man, I wish mine would have came in this case. That just looks so professional. Mine came in this box. If I would have seen this one, I definitely would have grabbed one of these prior. But they are coming in at 17, 17.99. Yeah. And this one is 16.49. So 50, $50 difference. But this one looks tough. This one still looks tough. Like you, you can't really go wrong with either one of them. So Charles Daly, Triple Threats. They got five of them. That's crazy. These are the only ones I've seen at the entire show. We got a Gilboa. What's that coming in at? Double barrel AR-15. Two mags, two barrels, two triggers. We got a camo Gustava. No, that one, uh, it's a center. It's a good deal. Another one. Let me know, y'all rocking with this finish? I don't. All right, we got one of LWRC's direct impingement rifles, and this one does come with a fluted um, barrel. I had a couple people ask me about these specifically because the price of them. I've never, I've never shot one. 762 by 39. I've never shot them. I mean, they look cool. I like the hand guards on them. But, yeah, I've never shot one of these. But definitely a good price, especially for the calibers. That all red one is tough right there. 5.56. Five, Got a PCC. This one's chambered in 9mm. Another 9mm. That one's coming at 650, and I think this one is the same thing. We got the Ivor Johnson. That one is chambered in 10 millimeter, and that one is real 24 karat gold. And then we got a Cerakoted Gold Rhino, six inch. That one's coming in at 1550. Oh, and they got the Bond Arms 4570. I don't know about that one yet. Hey guys, my name is Air. I'm the owner of Pretty Rebel Things. This is my signature product. It's the Figure Bed. It's a waist trainer gun holster. It allows you to shed belly fluff and support your back with a lumbar support strap and still carry your firearms. It's a universal gun holster. I've had 389, 40 caliber here, extra pockets for your mag, your pocket knife. Under your clothes, you're good to go. Why have a belly when you can have a figure? And it's a unisex product. The concept behind it was a weight belt. Um, when I started firearm training, I didn't see anything that was on the market that allowed you to shed belly fat and support your back and still carry up to two subcompact firearms. You can carry at the waist or under breast, which is my favorite way to carry. I have a toy gun oh, now. I have a toy gun now, but usually I carry my uh, Glock 43X. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And under your people, clothes, good to go. How can people reach you? Yes. Okay, so my website is prettyrebelthings.com. I'm on Instagram, Pretty Rebel Things. I'm on TikTok, Pretty Rebel Things. And I'm also on YouTube, Pretty Rebel Things. There it is. There yeah. it is. Now, you have a number that you put out there, or is it just strictly through um, e-commerce? Well, I do have a number, but I don't have a number. <laughs> yeah, it's on my business cards. There you go. 
Yep. I see it. It's a new number, guys. I, just, I literally just changed the number. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to tell them to check you out. I'm going to tell them to check you out. Thank you so it. much. I appreciate you. Load it up and in. Load up and in. Okay? That's the way I like to do the mat carriage. If you want we got to some holsters. Move the belt flip well, to the other side. I'm just going to practice this for now. Practice that? Yeah, yeah. Because you're still relatively new to it. Very new. Very. Yep. Like you say, I'm teaching them. No, no, that's You'll learn spot. because you're going to practice. And, and he's, he's going to teach you. He's going to teach you. No, no, no. 